Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Now fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Oh, this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is what we have been leading up to. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? <sighs> I'm nervous. Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Very nervous. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you. of no. the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Oh, sorry. Didn't know that. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our Ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> oh! Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Keep it up, Sonny Jim. Keep it up, Look Ethan. At that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We get me. to your justice. Fat boy. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Oh, I have Words to... are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. This is only to buy us some time. This is only to buy us some time here. Little... My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? No, I would that not. That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Don't think about it. White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from the <gasps> What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Tellers have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? 
The little lord does have a point. Oh, that's it. Keep. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of twenty men within your walls. No. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace and make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. I think we're screwed here. Yeah. You have a man you trust? I shall. Griff. Griff. We'll lead the garrison. The seven hells he will, lads. I... Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can uh, be uh, my uh, highborn. Excuse board. me, I don't. Lord uh. Ramsay, that's enough. Hold it. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. <laughs> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? <laughs> what have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Oh my god! Oh, no. Even though you did bend the knee. I, I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan. I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. Oh, However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Take the boy as your ward. No. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian. Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Holy cow, I'm shaking here with shock! You will not take Stop him! Help, please! Ryan, please! Help, no. Ryan! Do something! Ethan? My son. Ay, ay, ay. That was horrific. So our story has begun. I think it's bloody ended by the looks of it. <laughs> Next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Boom! <laughs> this is great stuff. Oh, I can't wait for the next episode. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's the statistics. Oh dear, only 19% of people took Eric's fingers. Am I that heartless? 73% swore loyalty to the king. Sort of 50-50, leaving Bowen behind. 
Uh, what else? Ooh, I'm in the minority picking Royal under Sentinel. And 63% of us met Ramsay in the Great Hall. So, there we go. Episode 1. Talk about setting the scene and ending on a bombshell. My goodness me. That has to be <laughs> quite one of the most shocking moments in gaming history. This, well, for, for quite some time in my opinion, that I can remember. Didn't expect Ethan to meet his end just like that. And I was quite... Look, I think out of all the characters that I played as, I enjoyed playing as Ethan the most. So it was doubly uh, horrifying to witness that. Ah, uh, dear me. Right, okay. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed Game of Thrones by Telltale. I certainly have. And, uh... Gonna have to go downstairs and get myself a cup of tea and uh, recover. So uh, see you next time. Bye for now.